Hi, this is Sing. Today, I would like to share the McRollins series of sine inverse x. First, we can let y be equal to the sine inverse x. In other words, x is equal to sine y. We can differentiate x with respect to y and obtain cos y. But what we want here is to differentiate y with respect to x. In other words, we just have to take the reciprocal of both sides. Recall that for the trigonometry identities, we have cos square y plus sine square y is equal to 1. This means that cos y is equal to square root of 1 minus sine square y and sine square y is equal to x square so we have 1 minus x square so we have dy dx is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x square next we let fx be equal to sine inverse x at the point x equal to 0 f0 zero, we have 0 so when we differentiate we should obtain 1 over square root of 1 minus x square if we use the conventional method and differentiate to obtain the Maclaurin series we will actually realize this is quite complicated so we are not going to use the conventional method what we use here is make use of their binomial theorem let's recall so binomial theorem state that if we have 1 plus a to the power of n then we should have 1 plus n times a plus n times m minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared plus n times m minus 1 times m minus 2 over 3 factorial times a to the power of 3 and so on. By using this similar pattern, we can actually fit the denominator by using binomial theorem let's rewrite the denominator using binomial theorem so we have 1 plus minus x square the whole thing to the power of 1 over 2 since this is square root so from here we can see that n is now half a is now minus x squared so we just have to substitute the n and a respectively to the equation so we have 1 plus 1 over 2 times negative x squared plus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 factorial times minus x squared to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 1 over 2 minus 1 1 over 2 minus 2 over 3 factorial times minus x squared to the power of 3 and so on let's simplify we have 1 positive negative we get negative 1 over 2 x square so for this part if we don't have confidence we just use later so we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 the whole thing over 2 factorial and we obtain negative 1 over 8 
Remember, we have negative here, but this negative we will take square. So it means that won't change the sign of this. So remain negative 1 over 8. X 2 square. So we have 4. Then next, we have, okay, we can change, make use of this that we previously entered. So this is supposed now to be 30 factorial. And we have to times another term, 1 over 2 minus 2. So we obtain 1 over 16 positive. Again, we have negative here, negative to the power of 3, so remain negative. Negative, positive, we have negative. So negative 1 over 16, x squared to the power of 3. So 2 times 3, we have 6. And so on. So from here, we can actually see that this, the First derivative of fx is actually 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, which means that we just have to take the reciprocal of this part. In other words, we just have to apply long division. So we have 1 minus 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 8 x to the power of 4 minus 1 over 16 x to the power of 6 and so on divide 1 since the numerator is 1 so we have remember for long division we always make sure when we simplify the first term is equal to 0 so in order to obtain 0 we have to take 1 times 1 which is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so we continue to times we have 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 8x to the power of 4 minus 1 over 16x to the power of 6 and so on so we simplify here 1 minus 1 is 0 so 0 minus negative become plus Again, plus, plus, and so on. So for the second term, we just have to take plus 1 over 2x squared times 1. So 1 over 2x squared. 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 over 4x to the power of 4. 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 8. So we obtain negative 1 over 16 x to the power of 6n, so on. So we obtain 1 over 8, 1 over 8 minus negative 1 over 4 we have 3 over 8 so we have 3 over 8 here then the next term 1 over 16 minus negative become plus so 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16 supposed to be 2 over 16 then we simplify we obtain 1 over 8 and so on so the next term suppose 3 over 8 x to the power 4 so we have 3 over 8 x to the power 4 positive negative negative 3 2 times 8 is 16. So we obtain 1 over 8 minus negative. So we have plus or we can type minus negative. 
3 over 16. So we have 5 over 16. 5 over 16, which means that the last term is supposed to be 5 over 16 as to power of 6 and so on. Okay, so the McRollin series expansion of the first derivative is actually equal to 1 plus 1 over 2x squared plus 3 over 8x power 4 plus 5 over 16x to power of 6. Lastly, let's obtain the Marilyn series of the sine inverse x. So, according to the Marilyn series, we have sine inverse x is equal to at the point 0, we have 0. So, this term can be eliminated. So, we don't have to write here. Then, for this term, this is the first derivative, the expansion for first derivative. But what we want is the expansion for the sine inverse x itself. So what we have to do here, we just integrate. So when we differentiate, we obtain this. When we integrate, we should get back to this. So let's integrate. So we have integrate 1 plus 1 over 2x squared plus 3 over 8x power 4 plus 5 over 16 x to the power of 6 and so on. Integrate 1, we obtain x. Integrate 1 over 2, we have x power plus 1 over power plus 1. So 2 times 3, we obtain 6. Then we have power plus 1 over power plus 1, which means that we will have 3 over 8 times power plus 1, which is 5. We obtain 3 over 4d. And the last term that we have here, so 5 over 16 times 6 plus 1, we have 7. So 5 over 1, 1, 2. Plus 5 over 1, 1, 2. Then we have x to power of 7 and so on. Then we that. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.